Hi, I'm Travis Flans from webworksofkc.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a free fax number and use it for your small business or your personal use. Even though fax numbers are becoming somewhat outdated, there are still some businesses and government agencies that prefer fax over email and a scanned and email document. So, simple to get a fax number that you can use every once in a while so you don't have to run to the library or to the UPS store anytime you need to send or receive a, just a single fax. Uh, first start off by going to k7.net and we're just gonna simply click on the sign up. Now k7.net is based out of Washington so your fax number will be a Washington number but that really shouldn't be an issue because you don't plan on using it that often and you just want it around for instances where you must use a fax. So simple to sign up, just enter your email address. Choose a four digit security number or PIN number. Now on how would you like to receive your messages, I don't plan on using the K7 website so I will only have the fax emailed to me. And we're not using the voicemail system so it doesn't really matter what you choose in the second section and on the account setup we're going to use fax only and we want a regular nationwide plan because we're not only going to receive faxes from it within the state of Washington. Enter the security code. Now your new account has been created with your phone number and you'll be sent an email with instructions. Now there's something to keep note about here on k7.net that you must send yourself a fax within 72 hours to keep your number active as well, you must make sure to receive a fax every 30 days. So you may have to remember to send yourself a test fax every once in a while if you plan to keep this number permanently. Now that it's set up, just go over to your email address. In the email, uh, it gives you information about using their service. It, for some reason, includes details about using their voicemail service as well as their fax service even though we chose to only set up the fax service. Now your own personal fax number has been set up and you can give out this number to anybody you like to send you a fax but make sure that you send yourself a test fax within 72 hours of creation so that the number is at, stays active as well make sure you send yourself a test fax every 30 days so you can keep the same fax number forever. Lastly I've sent myself a text fax to show you what it looks like in your email. As you can see it comes from k7.net which is your fax number provider and I've actually used a free internet fax service to send this fax as well but we'll go over that in another video. As you open the email it'll be attached as a TIFF file which is a tagged image file format and you can download your fax and once your file is downloaded you can just open it with a Windows Photo Viewer. Now we've showed you how to set up a free fax number using k7.net and how to download and open a fax once you receive it through your new number. Thank you for watching.